And you can't just say to a group of kids, do a newsletter. What sort of training did you and the learners need to be able to produce this? All right. At first, we didn't hear and we didn't know how to email. So Kylian sent us one that they need to come and teach us how to email, how to use the cam cameras so that they can capture some feelings, pictures to use them for the newsletter. They taught us how to write emails, to compose email, uh, pictures, and use the whiteboard. So we were trained, we get the whole team together with me. We were trained to, to, to do those things. And also things like using Word, how to change the font types, and just to make things fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so say you've got a newsletter to produce. How does it work? How do you get the newsletter out? Okay, I don't do the newsletter. They, they work on their own. I just guide them. I just give them the news. They have to, to, to write about everything that is interesting in the school. Eh? outside their community and everywhere in living in on TV. So they go to the computer room, they in that newsletter, everyone has got a space. So they write their own news and they every time they write them the news, they must interview one learner from the school. And then they write everything about the learner, their favorites, their readings, everything. After that they take the learner to the uh, conference room. They capture the, the picture. This is all on their own. How many? This is all them doing on their own. They alone. They take mm. a picture of the learner, they put it mm. in that mm. newsletter, and then after that, if they are finished, they come to me. Yeah? And they tell me, this we are, we are done. And then I go there and check what is in the news. The, pictures, the picture is there, everything is there. And then I just check. I don't usually delete what they have written because they are creativity. Um, Even if they want to write in post, I just let them do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So after that, I will tell them, okay, it's fine. You can email it to your friends. I don't email the letter. Mm -hmm. They do the thing themselves. Yeah. That's the way to do it, isn't it? Inspire the learners, motivate the learners so that they do it. You just manage it. And they also print that letter for the other learners so that they can get it. So it's important they put it up in school so that everybody else. What sort of fun things have you been able to do as a result of having a newsletter? What sort of opportunities? Mm -hmm. Okay. Last year we invited by the, to the board of the Green Dragon team from Ireland invited them. So they had a chance to interview the, 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 the whole team. So they were asking a lot of questions, how do you manage to stay in the sea for a whole month, and how do you travel, what do you eat, when you are sick, what do you eat, everything. So they got those answers, yeah, it was great to them. Another visit was when the ambassador from Ireland came to us. They went to the conference room, they were chatting to them, they were asking all the questions, well, how do you become a, an ambassador, what qualification, everything. So it was just something very nice. What? Well, I mean, we're starting to hear already. What has been the benefits to your learners being involved in this newsletter project? Oh, yeah, well, they communicate with the other learners from the other country. And, you know, they speak to them. Uh, I remember last year there was a South African day in Ireland. So they told, they told me that we are going to have this day. So prepare your learners so that they can sing for us. National anthem. we want to share what we are doing here. So through the Skype program, we went there, they were showing us what they are doing. And interestingly, they were wearing all the South African colors, <laughs> with all the flags, and doing everything. So they, they talked to each other, and they, were, they could see them. And even those, they could see this letters from this side. Mm -hmm. So it was interesting. Have the, have the learners themselves, how have they changed as being part of the Oh, they learning? enjoy using computers, you know. They are very crazy. Like I got one learner, I didn't know that he was emailing letters to SAPC and everywhere. <laughs> to my surprise, he was invited. We, we received a call that we need to let him, one of the team members by SAPC, he must come because he would like to be a presenter. So he, he, we, we had to take it to him to the airport, and then he went there, he got all that experience. And then they can email, they can so he was on for TV. information. So can I just say, he was on TV? He was he on presented. TV live. Oh. Yeah. Did you, we, we didn't tell him to do that through 
through the skills we've learned oh, yeah. from being part of the newsletter. He emailed SABC on his own, and was on TV. On his own. Sorry, they can, uh, they, they, they've learned a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. The ambassador said he'd never had such hard questions as he'd had from the children. Yeah. Because they've been empowered. They, they weren't just asking silly questions. They were asking searching questions. And he was looking at us like, these are children asking these questions. <laughs> and it's just, and the important thing is to say is, it's taken a little bit from the staff. What the children can do if you just set them free, just give them a little bit, just a little bit of training, a little bit of encouragement, a little bit of monitoring. They themselves have got the vision to take it on and move it. They also have the teachers. There are some teachers that have the music. They support them. They work with them. After school, they just, but not allow them to do the teachers' work. They can just guide them. Thank you very much. Thank you.